Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I will be teaching you how to install uh, custom skins to Mortal Kombat Challenge Monks or any game because it's the same process. You can install uh, any texture you want in any game, but in this case, I will be installing the skins I made for Shaolin Monks, which are the cinematic skins for Sub-Zero, Scorpion and other characters because I don't know if you know but Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks is like for some reason different in game than the concept art you can see here that the concept art for Sub-Zero looks like this but in game Sub-Zero actually look like like this so it's way different like the colors don't match the it's all different look at scorpion here scorpion in the cinematic looks like this and in game he looks like this for some reason so i managed to fix that uh, with the textures let me show it here you can watch this video on my channel but you can already see the difference like look at scorpion here he looks exactly like the one in the intro first thing you're gonna have to do is download the pcsx2 and you're gonna download this version if you download the, the normal one it's not gonna work because this version is the only one who has like the texture replacement uh, option and that's what you wanna get it so you're gonna click here you're gonna click download I'm not gonna download because I already have in my computer and I'll show you in a second as you can see I already have it in my computer oh, and it's already uh, available to update okay so this is what you're gonna look like when you download and you like make your changes to work in your computer because I'm not gonna teach you how to do that it's pretty simple stuff you just have to come here and go in graphics and change the render I normally keep it all the same because it gets like crashes and stuff if you change too much but that's all there is to it one thing you're gonna have to get it and make it sure it's selected is you go here into graphics you go into texture replacement and you're gonna go and mark this option carregar texturas which means low textures i always leave it like this because i want to see which texture is what but you don't need to if you're not gonna like edit textures so you just need to make sure you have the low textures option available and mark it this is the first step you're gonna have to download this go into your uh, settings graphics texture replacement and make sure you mark yes into low textures okay after the first step a folder is gonna be created in your archive which is the texture folder what you're gonna have to do now is you're gonna download this which is the textures for the cinematic skins which I made and you're gonna come here into your downloads and you're gonna extract with Ingar it doesn't have like a password so you just have to copy this and just go to your textures go to your SLUS which is the Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks file I forgot to say but there's not gonna be like this file if you don't open the game inside your PCX2 so what you're gonna have to do is just open the game first so you create this file so you can put the textures inside like you must open your game first so it creates this Okay, so you're gonna go into your Mortal Kombat files and you're gonna uh, put it here. I'm not gonna put because I already have this. Look, it's already here. This is all my textures files. So you're gonna have to do this. Uh, next step, you're gonna go into the other link I left in the description, which is the sheets. And you're gonna download it. You're gonna like extract the files or extract the sheets and you're gonna open and you're gonna copy this and put in your like in all your folders you, you see here sheets and you're gonna like put it here this sheet code is not actually a sheet it 
just disable some stuff that it makes the game looks ugly like makes the game looks ugly like there's a glow effect that if you don't put this file your skins are gonna look like terrible so you need to put this file here like you need totally you totally need to put this here to make sure that the sheet codes are gonna work you must come here and you're gonna go into emulation and you're gonna need to click here into ativar trapasas which means activated sheets if you don't activate the cheats, they're not gonna work. So the skins are gonna look terrible. So you must mark this and then you click close and then you can open your game. After you've done this, uh, you're pretty much good to go and you can play your game if you want to. Like, let me load it here so I can show you. Look, Scorpion is already working. As you can see, like the skin is already working, but I'm going to teach you how to do like other stuff. If you want to stay in the tutorial, just uh, hold on a little longer. And it's the actually the reshade. You can install the reshade and it looks like amazing. You just have to go on this side and download. And I'm going to teach you how to do it right now. Like just click download, save it. And then after that, you're gonna like have this file you're just gonna run it and you're gonna browse your game which is the PCX2 you're gonna go like into your file of the PCX2 like open and then you're gonna like select it and click open and next thing you're gonna be installing is the reshade which is oh you must like select this one and this one has to be the same one here in your PCX shoe, like if it's not, it's not gonna work. Let me show you. Uh, you're gonna have to go here and graphics, and you're gonna make sure that the the render and the adapter, no, the render, just the render, direct 3D 11 needs to be the same one here. If it's not, it's not gonna work. So just select the the render you will like and the same one you're gonna live in your PCX2 engine you install it I'm not gonna do it the process because I already like did but you just have to click next I, I'm not gonna be able to do it because I already have so like you can install this uh, by yourself like in tutorials on YouTube because it's pretty easy and it makes a huge difference and I'm gonna be leaving a link to my reshade uh, assets which is the combat reshade let me find for you like this is my reshade assets and it looks just amazing if you're gonna play like Shaolin monks you must use this because it's like totally amazing like the graphics the lighting everything is just amazing and I think that's it I think that's all like that's all you have to do like to play Mortal Kombat Shaolin monks with updated textures I will also be leaving the codebreaker files in the description uh, which are like the files for you to play with a code breaker because I, are, I have like lots of codes in code breaker which is this archive and these are the memory card settings you must put inside your PCX2 and I'm gonna teach you how to do it you just copy this and you open your PCX2 like directory and you're gonna see memory card here you just need to paste it and it's done now you have a memory card with the code breaker uh, codes available and all you have to do now to open the code breaker is you're gonna open your pcx2 again like now you're gonna open the program and you go to system initiate archive and then you're gonna select this which is the code breaker cb10 one ELF and then you're gonna load into it which is this one and the pelican pelican code breaker because it's the best and as you can see in the moment it, there will be like lots of codes uh, there there are like not all the codes but there are some of them if you want to play like this is a Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks one and this is a Master Code 
Zakitana Melina. If you select this code and press start, you're gonna click in start your game and then you're gonna change disk from the game list and select your Shaolin Monks and click yes. And it should start your game with the code breaker active. And this code breaker allows you to play any character you want, like any character that, that is on the list. I, um, and you can put other characters, like you can put other codes. You just need to research how to do it because I'm not going to be teaching in this video. But normally, uh, you can play with other characters using this. So I'm going to show you real quick that I'm going to select like one character and then it's gonna be scorpion I guess I guess it's select scorpion I'm gonna select Liu Kang here and it's gonna transform me into a scorpion let me skip this real quick oh it's sub-zero as you can see it's sub-zero here with the custom skins, which is my favorite one, this is the Behind skin, and it looks just amazing. But that's it, guys. Thank you. And I'm gonna show the textures real quick for you guys, so you can see like uh, what is what. This is our Mac, uh, the Saptian Mac textures, which you, which are made to look like a Mac from Mortal Kombat, exception, ob obviously. And I don't know, I really like this skin and I really like this design for him. Uh, this is Raiden. Uh, the cinematic uh, outfit for Raiden. Which you can see here. You see like his skin type looks way different from the artwork. And I made sure that the artwork looks like just, just like the, the artwork. The skin type looks like the artwork, so that's it for Raiden. Uh, Reptile was a pretty confusing one because I had a lot of problems trying to make Reptile look like oh my god, look like this because it looks so much different in game. Let me show you. Look, what the, ac what the actual fuck? Like, what is this, man? Like, it doesn't even look like him. Like. Eh looks like a little bit but like what is up with this blue color it's totally black here so I made sure that it looks like just the artwork look look the different the difference here are pretty amazing like the colors the shadings everything looks on place now it's kind of dark but it's because the reshade uh, normally the colors are gonna look like this so that's it for reptile let's go to the next one this is for a scorpion uh, this is an old version because it has like now it has like updated textures you, you can see here uh, it looks just like the guy man looks looks just like the guy in the mask the colors everything looks in place it's just amazing this is like the best skin you can possibly have to scorpion in this game uh, let's go to Shao Kahn. This is the Mortal Kombat 2 Shao Kahn skin. It's like major changes, like little changes, but big ones. And this is how it's supposed to look. And this is for my favorite one, Sub Zero, because this is Bihan costume. This is an old version, but the new one looks like this. And this is the like the original file from the game, which is absolutely weird because Behan doesn't look like that. I know this is supposed to look like like different because it's Quile Yang, but ah uh, man, me and my boys go with Behan because he's the best Sub Zero. Everybody knows that. So that's it. This is these are the textures like you're gonna have to put in your texture folder inside your PCX2, and this is gonna have like lots of stuff here because I updated the gore I updated like some major characters like the Onis from the game the Tarkatans which looks like different because they have like the shirts from the cinematics 
So yeah, there's there's a lot of changes, a lot of updates. Not that much stuff, but like major changes in a little bit of parts of the game. So it actually makes the game like totally new if you're gonna play it. And that's great. So guys, this is a tutorial. I hope you guys got everything. If you have like questions, leave in the comments. I will read and answer. And if you need something else, just ask me because I don't do like textures only for Shaolin Monks or for PCX2, I do textures for like everything. I have been a Sekiro mother for almost like six months now and uh, I have work. I have been working with League of Legends mods as well, like textures mods and if you guys have any questions just ask me and I'll be able to answer, I hope so. Okay, so this is it. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I hope you guys have a great day.